Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel if you are returning. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe if you resonate with me. This is gonna be good for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements, or if you're cross-watching and you're dealing with a Scorpio, these messages may resonate with you as well. Let me move this out of the way. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every person watching. Some of the messages may resonate, some may not. Just take what resonates and leave what does not. Don't try to make it, uh, don't force it to fit your situation. If it's your message, you're definitely going to know it's your message, okay? Um, Scorpio. Wow. <clears throat> okay, so some of you could be dealing with a situation where you're in separation from someone. Okay, I'm getting very strong that some of you are going to have someone from your past, um, return somebody that you are currently in separation with i'm i'm getting like long conversations or someone could just pop up out of the blue someone from your past um for some of you this could be somebody that you were married to or in a commitment with okay somebody that you thought at one time was a soulmate connection or somebody you had a very strong connection with all right um, okay, so for some of you, this person may not have been ready to settle down yet. And I feel like if that's the case, if that's resonating with you, uh, that person's returning and now they're ready to settle down. For some of you, this is a very specific message. Um, one of you, one of you, somebody in the situation wanted to have a baby or have built a family or, um, have something very stable and someone was not ready for that. And they ended up removing themselves from the situation and that person's coming back for some of you. For some of you, this is someone at one time you thought it was a wish come true. This was a soulmate connection. This person made you really happy. There's a strong attraction and um, very strong feelings with this individual, okay? I do see a conversation happening about um, feelings and revisiting this connection. I do see that here for some of you. And I'm hearing like lengthy, so it could be a long conversation. Like you and this person have a lot to catch up on. Definitely somebody from your past. There's a strong attraction here. There's a strong attraction here. Um, I feel like the feelings are mutual. I'm hearing whether you want to admit it or not, the feelings are mutual. See, someone here wants to heal a situation. Some of you, maybe the message is you do have children with this person and they want to come back and heal the connection. Um, this person really challenged you and made you grow in a lot of ways. All right. Um, hmm. <clears throat> okay, but there's an energy here. Of, there, could, there could have been some interference in this connection. Um, you could have, for some of you, you were married to this person and you removed yourself and got a divorce. For others of you, your person could be going through a divorce, you or your person. Okay. But there's definitely an energy here of someone taking control back of the situation. All right, um, and wanting to take things to the next level. Where this is engagement, ascension, ascending your um, love life to a higher level of commitment. So for some of you, that ties into what I was just talking about. Where this could have been somebody who had a hard time um, settling down. Maybe they had commitment issues. Maybe they weren't ready in the past, and so you removed yourself, or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. And now this person's ready to open up. Now they're ready to offer something to you. And I'm hearing for some of you, it's too late. And maybe, but this message is still coming out. This is what they want you guys to know. So um, someone here could have had control issues or could um, like to control situations or, yeah, there's, you could be dealing with an Aries because they're showing me the emperor or there could be an age difference between the two of you or you could be dealing with somebody very masculine who has that energy, okay? And they like to remain in control. Very strong soulmate energy. I was picking up on that earlier. Um... For a lot of you, this is a soulmate connection, okay? Um, you may have lost faith in this connection in the past. There could be a lot of differences between the two of you. Age, religious factors, um, very passionate connection. But it's just like an energy of you guys feeling like you have to put yourself first or you had to put yourself first in the situation. Also, guys, my readings are timeless too. Um, I'd like to point that out. So this could be past, present, or future energy that's coming out for you. Apply it where it fits to your situation, okay? Um, but see, at one point, this is a past life relationship, so that ties into that soulmate energy. Um, but you thought that this was the one, 
at one point. You were ready to build with this person, to put in work with this person. Um, you found it very difficult to walk away from this person because you have a very magnetic attraction. You guys have a very magnetic bond. And so it was very difficult to walk away from this connection. It's like, it's very yin and yang, this connection I'm getting. So it's like, um, you guys balanced each other out very well. And they're showing me the two of pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, but you don't have to be. See, somebody here could have ran. I'm getting that very strong. Someone could have ran from the connection. <clears throat> For some of you, you're dealing with someone who um, has a lot of insecurities or is really struggles with ego. I'm seeing Leo now. So some of you could be dealing with Leo. But it's like, even though you guys were in separation, see, and now they're showing me the control aspect again. So you're dealing with somebody who really likes to remain in control. So they may not have expressed to you how much they miss you. They may not have expressed to you how they really feel um, that they're upset about the breakup when truly they are. All right, let's see what else. You could have had a lot of highs and a lot of lows with this individual. Um, it could be very hot and cold. Someone here is waiting for the right opportunity to come forward. Some of you, a uh, very small percentage of you, could be waiting for a divorce to be finalized in order to take action or vice versa. Some of you feel like this person played you, but that you learned a lot of uh, lessons or you grew a lot as a person. Um, sorry, I didn't realize I was making the camera move. Uh, you grew a lot as a person uh, through this connection, okay? So I'm hearing it wasn't for nothing, or maybe that's an outlook that some of you have uh, when it comes to this connection. It's not for nothing because um, you did learn a lot from this connection, okay? So let's see what else. I feel like um, some of you are out playing the field or open to new experiences, and then this person comes back. I feel like you have a very flirtatious energy with this individual, or you guys just enjoy each other's company. Some of you, you have a situation where um, when you and the timing was off. So when you and this person were together, I feel like you guys probably triggered each other a lot and had a lot of things come to surface level. Um, and there's been a lot of healing and growing since this, since the separation between the two of you. Okay. Yeah. Them returning is going to be very unexpected an unexpected event because it's like you walked away, you pulled your energy back away from this person and it's like you're closing that chapter or you're closing that door or they did and then all of a sudden they come back. So um, th there's a very unexpected return of an ex, Scorpio. Uh, a lot of you, this is gonna bring up uh, negative emotions from the past. And some of you may decide that it's not worth it and you may walk away. This could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, or you guys could have been, you could have felt like it was, um, that's that hot and cold energy or like in and out, like you guys are on and off a lot or you guys had a very challenging connection and I feel like it's because I'm hearing pride. Someone could have let um, pride get in the way. Again, they're showing me Leo, so you could really be dealing with the Leo for some of you. But, um, so you guys were incompatible in a lot of ways because one of you was more mature than the other person. And I feel like whoever that was that was stuck in the pride, that was stuck in ego, really had an, a chance to grow up a bit. And now they're returning and they want to right their wrongs is what I'm getting. And it's like you guys may be in a position where you're trying to decide if it's worth even pursuing or putting effort in. Because a lot of you are going through a soul activation or your person is where you're realizing what you're here to do and what you learned out of the situation. So you're looking at it from like a whole different perspective. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. But um, you're waking up to your soul purpose and you're really trying to claim your place in the world. Showcasing your gifts and talents. Some of you are really figuring out what you're here to do. And then here comes the romantic offer. A surprise romantic offer wanting to take things to the next level so it's like that energy again where this could be somebody who um didn't want to offer you anything stable in the past or they weren't ready for that is what i'm getting they still wanted to play around or play the field and now they want something serious see there's um 
you guys took the power back. Uh, you guys took power back of the situation. And now this person who likes to be in control, I feel like that was a good gut check for them. So long overdue changes in this connection are happening. They're taking place. There could be a lot of differences between the two of you. Age, culture, um, religious factors, status, just the way you guys live each other, your, your, um, your lives, right? <clears throat> All right, let's see. What else? Some of you may decide that you're you're open to the idea of being friends with this person. You may make them really work for it or take things extremely slow. But there is a meeting here for a lot of you. There is definitely a meeting um, unexpectedly or some type of coming together. Prepare for the unexpected is what they're saying. Some of you have been waiting for this. If you've been waiting for this, it's coming in. Okay. Let's jump into the reading. We'll start clarifying with some tarot and see what is going on. <laughs> um, Scorpio. We'll move some of these cards out of the way. So we're going to look at you and your person. Um, take which side resonates. Uh, it's a general reading, so energies can be interchangeable. We're going to look at what's on your mind and your person, how you guys feel towards each other, how you're viewing each other, what are the mutual energies between the two of you blockages, and then potential outcome, all right? Someone here is thinking about taking a risk. Oh my gosh, your cards just flipped over everywhere. Um, and again, some of you could definitely be dealing with an Aries too, because I do, I just saw the Fool, so I do feel that energy as well. Someone here, you could be at a distance from them, or there could be travel involved, okay? So let's, let's jump in. So for Scorpio... What is on your person's mind, Scorpio? What is communication? Page of Cups. Some type of communication um, in regards to feelings. All right. Um, a proposal. A message. This is what they're thinking about. A surprise. Um, a possibility. They're thinking about the possibilities. I'm seeing a lot of wine, too. So some of you, I mean, I love wine. But <laughs> some of you could um, meet this person over drinks or some of you, wine could be significant here. She even has a glass of wine in her. That's the cup, right? But I'm just, I was getting that earlier too, where you guys, that unexpected meeting, you guys could be out with friends or having drinks or something like that for some of you and you come across this person, all right? So let's see. How do they feel towards Scorpio? How do they feel? This person's keeping tabs on you. They're watching you. Page of Swords. I'm trying to see what you're up to. Six of Pentacles. See, they're ready to give to the situation. That's how they feel. They want equal give and take now, is what I'm hearing. Hmm. Two of Cups. How do they feel? They feel like you are... You guys definitely have a mutual attraction. You guys have a strong connection. They, they want a reconciliation with you. There's a lot of love here that they feel towards you. How do they view you, Scorpio? How do they view you? <laughs> Eight of Cups. They view you as you walked away. They view you as you walked away, withdrew your energy, you're letting go. For some of you, they feel like you abandoned them. Or that's how they view you, as like you, you walked out, you left. Five of Pentacles. See, they feel, they view you as leaving them out in the cold. Four of Swords. Wow. Some of you are no longer in communication with this person like whatsoever. And they view you as not wanting anything to do with them. Mm -hmm. Like you've completely withdrew your energy from this person and walked away. All right, let's see. Five of Cups. There's a lot of remorse here. Regrets of the past. So what's on your mind, Scorpio, when it comes to this connection? What's on your mind when it comes to this connection? What are you thinking about when it comes to this person? Sorry if the shuffling is loud. This is a newer deck. What are you thinking about when it comes to this connection? Um, some of you are following your heart and your, and your intuition and going towards a, like a whole new direction. When you're thinking about what you want in love... Mm -hmm. you're thinking about romance or like opening yourself up to romance. Some of you are mm -hmm, the wheel of fortune. Some of you are really thinking about 
progression, moving things forward, different opportunities, um, a turning point, destiny. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. How do you feel towards this person? You have the eight of wands. <laughs> I'm hearing like you're just trying to move away from them as quickly as possible <laughs> for some of you. For some of you, um, you feel like there could be distance between the two of you. Travel could um, play a role here. Some of you feel like intuitively you know that the communication is coming. All right, that's what I'm getting. Why is the eight of wands here? How do you feel? King of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Some of you are really in a space of, you feel like this person was um, deceptive towards you. They lied to you. They uh, backstabbed you. Some of you are really in a space of focusing on your own stability with the King of Pentacles. You're really in a space of um, feeling powerful or really finding your place. Investing in things that are um, secure and wise. And there's a lot of conflict here when it comes to feelings of this person. Or it's like you feel like there was some type of betrayal or loss here. So, and there's no way to win with this person. So you're focusing on other things. What's the mutual energy here? What is the mutual energy? Three of Pentacles. Teamwork, collaboration, um, coming together. Somebody here really wants to work on this still. What else? Three of Swords. There's a lot of threes here. Um, there could have been a third party situation. Somebody could have cheated. But what I see, the way they split this up for me is um, this person still wants to put work in here. And you're, you're, you're healing from emotional pain and heartbreak. Um, and there's a lot of feelings of betrayal, suffering. Maybe they had you in a third party situation and you're just trying to heal from that. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, you view this person as they need to, um, soul search or they need to figure their, their stuff out. Um, and I feel like you view this person as well as somebody who betrayed you or, um, mm -hmm, like backstabbed you. What's challenging this is a new beginning, Ace of Cups, beginnings, um, starting over, starting something new, emotions, um, some type of offer. Okay. You could be going with a Virgo. Let's see. What's in the outcome here? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. What is in the outcome of this situation? Somebody here is really walking away from this in the outcome. Five of Pentacles and the Empress. Walking away from the situation. Five of Wands. There's too much conflict. Um not wanting to compete, not wanting to fight for it anymore because somebody's in a place of really putting themselves first, all right? Um, working on new opportunities, working towards um, abundance here, working towards something that's secure and stable, working on your own stability and withdrawing from this person completely. But I think the message here is to prepare yourself for something unexpected because and I know you guys don't like hearing about an ex, but I have to say what comes out. And this is definitely the message here. I just feel like um, maybe some of you need uh, confirmation that this person is going to come back, that this person does miss you. I don't know. It's going to be different for everybody. But this is the story. This is what's happening here. If it's not your message, it's not your message. It is what it is, okay? Um, let's see what they would say to you. Scorpio. Let's see, what would they say to you? What do they want to say to Scorpio? Wow. Okay, there's a lot here. So let's go through this. Maybe we're too different. That's why we disagree and fight. So there's a lot of differences here between the two of you. Um, this person looks around for you in places or looks for you in places thinking or hoping that you're going to be there. I feel like you're in a space of you just want to be alone or left alone when it comes to this person. This person would tell you or they want to tell you that time passes but their feelings don't change even though you no longer trust them. 
I contradict myself and give you uh, mixed messages. The whole stack is here, so let's look at this. I'm sorry that I criticized you. I can never find the right words to say to you. Would I be rejected if I contacted you? Do you still want me? You were the love of my life. I didn't figure that out before, but I know now that it's true. And now it's like too little too late is what I feel like is the storyline here. Because somebody's really realizing what it is. It's like you really wanted this in, in the past and the person wasn't ready to give it to you. So you separated yourself and you're moving on. And now this person realizes your worth, right? Um, we're too different. There's a lot of differences. I want to contact our mutual friends to ask about you. I don't trust easily. Life has been empty without you. I try to distract myself by going out with my friends. Time has brought me clarity about us. I made the wrong choices. <laughs> yeah, and that's totally what I feel here too. You're so beautiful to me. So somebody here is really living with regrets and letting you walk away, Scorpio. And I'm getting like very sassy vibes from you. <laughs> From whoever's resonating with this, like, good, I'm glad that they they feel that way or they deserve that or whatever. But, um, yeah, this is what I'm getting for you guys. I hope that brought some clarity to your situations. Um, sending you guys love and light, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.